You know, guys, I do. I, it's part of the brand of the show now. Uh, but it means a lot to me. We've got to shout Lula out. He is the most popular. Woo! Lula Livre! Woo! He brought 49 people out of property. They hate him because of what he did, and there was literally no way to beat him. So I appreciate so much, including some of you, with your patience. Like, why the fuck is he talking about Lula all the time? But it means a tremendous amount to me, and I actually think it's a door to something that's really important in the world, and I appreciate all of you who have uh, spoken out about it. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I was contacted by somebody who works in the congressional office recently, and was saying, you know, look, I'm, I'm really into your show, and I'm trying to work this in the office a little bit. Woo! So, <laughs> Seriously, thank you. Mike Racine, come with us, please. If, we're, if his music is ready, is his music ready? It's actually going to take a second. I don't even know what this is in a second. Do you guys know what this is? Yeah, it's right. Woo! Good, a little on the nose, but uh, <laughs> I was initially a godfather. Uh -huh. I was, I didn't have enough time. I wanted to find some like mama me, mama mama, but I didn't have time. Yeah. <laughs> some like real, real. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Slur. <laughs> I should, I should break you face right now. I should break you face in front of all these people. <laughs> My family's here. You disrespect me in front of my mother. Actually, Michael's mother is here, so our, our mothers are going to fight. Uh, 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 Woo! Uh, uh, Mike, what's your Right, you guys thought you were here for a talk show? You can see uh, <laughs> something else. Oh, How you doing? What, what's your right wing grip, Mike? My right wing grip? I, I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I didn't realize we were doing this until I got here. But I was thinking about like, what if you, what if you were able to find like uh, middle-aged guys who got cucked, like they, like their wives, their wives. I think you could find them. Their wives cheated on them, and then and then you convince them that getting cucked is actually cool because because. It, Right, because it, it means that like you're so detached and, and stone faced that you don't care. It's like, I don't, the younger man I don't give a life. fuck about my relationships and feeling so much my wife cheats on me. Right. I'm a fucking man. And you, and you steal your heart and uh, you don't let anything bother you. And then, and then you are a true alpha. <laughs> Girls here, by the way. This is not TMBS Bucks the Brochelist brand. Don't yeah. worry, we're silencing them. Ninety-nine summer jam, and I appreciate anybody who understands that. Um, so, Mike. Talked about if you so does everybody here know because I apologize for those who don't know but does everybody here know the intellectual dark web the people we've been yeah. yeah. everybody has a sense of this I'm like the Dave Rubin of this crew <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, dumb and gay <laughs> just uh, happy to be here you know? <laughs> ideas so we're, our conversation lift up your microphone. Our conversation was, thank you. What would you, you want do? To tell you what to do? Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's the secret orchestrator of everything. Yeah. Um, so, if you were trying to, if the, if the intellectual dark web was a mafia family, mm -hmm. 
And Sam Harris was the boss. <laughs> Harris or Peterson would be the boss. I guess Harris would be the boss. I mean, yeah, Harris or Peterson's too erratic. He's too erratic. Harris is boss. Yeah, Harris. Harris is the enforcer. Yeah, Harris has the institutional. Work. But but Joe but Joe Rogan is like the under he's like the street boss. Joe Rogan is the under boss. Joe Rogan is the Joe Rogan is under boss. That's a gift. Yeah yeah. yeah. Okay, Uncle Junior. Oh no, dude, Uncle Junior is God sad because they, he's always lying. <laughs> Done. It's a perfect reference. I'm depressed, but I know the answer. So if we're the FBI, yeah, maybe Peterson is like the consigliere. That's not the shadow. But that's such an insult to sell. But yeah, he's well, he's not. Well, he's I, he, he is. I'm in the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> so if we're the FBI. Who do we try to flip to become a rat to break up this group? I think everyone in here knows the answer. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what is the approach to working with? <laughs> I think I think you just exploit the insecurity that he feels. You know, like you're, money. You're like, listen. You're like, listen. We heard Rogan didn't even let you touch the sword. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I don't know why. You can take a picture with the sword. It's kind of weird. It's sort of in a really weird way. You're like, they don't respect you, Dave. Wait. So is you actually saying that Dave? Big pussy bomb and Sarah. Uh, <laughs> That's the nicest pussy thing pussy anyone pussy. said about him. But Ruben, Ruben has no info. What? Ruben has no info. He doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, that's, well, that's the he's other ball. Like Harris yeah, Ruben, but that's why he, Harris is like, don't worry about it. He doesn't know anything. Yeah. I'm afraid of I feel like he's more afraid of a big pussy. Ruben is afraid of him. Like, 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 so, so who killed him? X-Men. Ruben is Ruben is the Ruben is Ruben is Tommy Bacala. He's just no, a great He's a good guy. All right, then who? I don't know. I don't know. buy that. Hardy Ruben is Hardy Booker. Hardy Booker ran a great Italian restaurant and refused the temptations and was in a committed, honorable relationship. I would hear you. He got divorced. He a bouncer at the Bada Bing. So every time. Harris is like, God damn it, when people took me out of context again, he throws a phone. Well, when you imagine, when you imagine Ruben, you're like, all right, like, if I'm the FBI agent, I'm like, all right, Dave, this is what you got to do. You give him the wire, you know, and he's like on the fence about it, he doesn't want to betray his friends. And then, and then he remembers when Ben Shapiro said, I'm not coming to your anniversary party. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, all right, I'm going to do it. And he the wire. Now, was Ben Shapiro part of the intellectual dark web? Because then who would he Ben Shapiro? No, Ben Shapiro is Johnny Sapp. He comes from New York. He's affiliated. Uh, and he's always talking about his wife. Cernovich <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, is Jack Jr. Okay. Cernovich is definitely Jack Jr. And he's not pretty good. Cool. <laughs> that was definitely like, when that was one of those, like, Harris was like, I can't, you can't have that guy in the show. Translator Brandy. Uh, in the last, uh, in a, for a minute, because we're about to bring out Boss Carson Carr. Woo! But uh, you've been talking about people uh, that you're close to who might be. Well, I just said my girlfriend's a teacher from Staten Island, so. Yeah. <laughs> what are you booing? <laughs> I'll pivot it right, right now. I don't want to do that. You don't like Staten Island? Hey, Having your girlfriend is gay. So when you're trying to get people to move to the left, that are close to you. Yeah, well, I mean, she's a teacher, so she kind of liked that uh, Kamala video where she wanted to lock up parents. <laughs> I
<laughs> one of my Kamala Harris, one of my right wing verses is gonna be like a Kamala Harris like monopoly board. But like <laughs> half the squares are going back to jail. Why not all? And then the pieces would be like a cookout grill, a bashiki. <laughs> and like a soul train box set. Actually, you know, we all hate Dave Rubin. This kind of disturbing. This really happens. Uh, Meditation is a very interesting concept. Very clear and precise about. A figure of precise. What the fuck do I need to blow to get some guy to have skin on you? You fucking incompetent moron. I will literally fucking kill you in the Cinderella to freaking incels on YouTube, I will literally, not figuratively, put a fucking stake through your eye. <laughs> Alright, bitches be trifling. Bring it Alright, everybody, uh, we have, I don't know what uh, T left, unfortunately, prematurely, but let's give it a hand for T. Yeah. Woo! Mike.